Within the East Midlands itself, one small nucleus of power, trade and learning shared the same kind of English. The triangle formed by Oxford, Cambridge and London is the basis of standard English in the 20th century. When it came to setting Chaucer in the new type, Caxton had to settle for one system. Naturally, he adopted the vocabulary and spelling of the capital, London English. Like all his contemporaries, Caxton himself was an idiosyncratic speller who wrote as he spoke. This is his spelling of girl. Words like right reflect the pronunciation of the time, richt. And so does plough, ploch, a word that even Caxton spells two different ways. The English language owes its chaotic spelling conventions to this simple fact that printers, like Caxton, fixed the language on the page before a consensus had emerged among its writers and teachers. It was around Caxton's time that English pronunciation went through its last great change. By the late 15th century, English is almost totally recognizable in the mouths of the first professional actors. You could, in fact, imagine holding a conversation with them in the street. Worshipful sovereigns, join voices with us to summon the devil, Tetevelus. Creepas, and who should bring him in with a shout? Tetevelus. 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 This is Mankind, one of the most popular plays of the 15th century in an authentic performance outside the porch of Lincoln Cathedral. Ego sum dominantium dominus. Hend me nam. He's kicking us. Do we? He shall know more over the church steel. Here, the Here devil prepares to enough. tempt mankind, a hard-working peasant, to swear an oath of loyalty to the seven the deadly people. sins. Oh, the heat is very heavy, he tell you for so. He shall sleep full me belly, though he be me brother. <laughs> Farewell, every son, for he have done me gone, for he have brought mankind to mischief and to sham. <laughs> Mankind, come hither, and reach your lip on. You shall go to all the good fellows in the country about, on to the good way, when the good man is out. He will, sir, yes. He will, sir. There are but six deadly sinners. Lechery is known, as my be very feared Beus Brethelis every John. You must go rob, steal, and kill as fast as you might go. He will, say ye. He will, sir. Tuck the money, kick the throttest us over fast them. He will, say ye. He will, sir. Here is a jolly jacket. Woo! Mankind is a colloquial masterpiece, funny, high-spirited, and original. And the language is at last recognizably English. Emerging from the shadow of French and Latin, it's exploiting the versatility it has acquired during the previous 1,000 years. Highly colored, playful, and self-confident, the English language has come of age. After this triumphant debut, the stage is now set for the English of William Shakespeare and the Elizabethans. Set 